So behind me is the, um, the first, the original Northern Pacific um, Railroad Depot. It was built in 1885, but it wasn't located here originally. Originally, it was located right where the railroad tracks are, a little bit north, uh, excuse me, a little bit um, northwest of where the current Six Ward Depot is now that Montana Rail Link is in. So it's, um, when the new depot was built, this building was moved over here onto Lindale. And um, I don't know, at some point it became a church. Now it's an apartment building. But you can tell from looking at it, you can see these really wide eaves here. It was a depot at one point, and the depot, we're seeing kind of the, the side of it here. We're not seeing the front of it. There's a historic photograph that was taken probably shortly after it was built in 1885. Remember that the railroad came here. The Northern Pacific was the first railroad to come into, into Helena and ensured Helena basically being here. It opened up transcontinental, air, um, transcontinental lines um, between Helena and other parts of the country. And so, um, so that was a very advantageous thing for Helena to have um, a, a, a railroad. And so they built this a couple of years after the railroad arrived. And this one is very special. It was designed by, uh, in, in his early career, by Cass Gilbert. He's a pretty much renowned um, architect from uh, Minnesota. And he also designed the second Montana Club. There's a house on, um, on Stewart and Madison that was designed by him. Uh, he also did some uh, some remodels um, on a, of houses in that area as well. So he he did do a lot of work in, in Helena, um, considering. He was friends with Al, Albert Seligman, who owned a house in the, in the um, on the corner of Stewart and Madison, and that that was probably the connection to the Montana Club why he got the second um, the second uh, design of, of that building. So uh, if you might also know him as the father of the modern skyscraper, he designed the Woolworth Building in New York City, which is still standing. It was the first skyscraper. And he also designed the Supreme Court Building, which is in DC. It's pretty cool that we have a building here, a few buildings designed by him and homes designed by him. Um, so it, like I said, at one point it was a church. And if you go around the back, you can see some of the original um, shingling designs. It had siding on it. You see stucco on it now, but it originally had siding. Um, and so you can still see the siding in the back, which is pretty cool when you, if you go in the alley. So this, what you see behind me, is the second, um, the second Northern Pacific Railroad Depot. It was built in 1904, um, and the architect that designed it was um, the same firm that designed the Grand Central Station in New York City. This would have been Stem and Reed. Um, Reed was uh, designed a lot of build, uh, buildings for railroads, and that's how he got the job. He had a family connection. Um, so the original. First, the first depot, which was built in 1885, which would have been located about in this, in this vicinity over here to the northwest of the building we see here. And we do know it was moved. It's over on Lindale now. Um, and this building, the, the, this wing that you see behind me here, is, uh, would have been the baggage, the baggage area. And the other wing, the eastern wing, would have been the beanery, which was the Northern Pacific's restaurant. Um, there's some great photos existing that show the interior of that. Um, so there are actually two wings and they're separated. There's kind of a, a walkway through uh, that you, you on, to, if for either wing you could go through. Now what you are looking at is the street side of the, of the depot. It's the less fancy side. If you were able to go over on the tracks, you could see the fancier side where it actually said Helena on it. It had the Helena sign and these rather beautiful um, Renaissance Revival um, arches. So it was quite lovely. And the clock that you see here still works. It's a Seth Thomas clock, famous clock maker. Um, it's really cool inside. You can walk up the stairs to get to it if you have access. Um, and you know, even the clock is, is pretty significant about this building. And it did survive the 1935 earthquakes, had some damage. Um, you know, we have some photographs 
of the um, of the damage, but it was it was pretty um, cleaned up. And as you can see, the, it's had some you know a few windows replaced on it, but it's in very very good shape. And it's significant because it is the only original depot besides the older one on Lindale that we have left, the Great Northern Depot, uh, which came later than the Northern Pacific, uh, was demolished to make way in the 80s for what we know as the Federal Reserve Building over um, near downtown. So it's, you know, it, we have our one original depot. When it's still used for train purposes, Montana Rail Link owns it. They have their operations out of it. So it's uh, neat that it still continues to be in service after 100 years for trains. And uh, over here we have Beatty Park. Um, Beatty Park was, um, was funded by the Beatty family and hence the name. It used to be a series of really dilapidated older buildings. Um, and the Beatty family left money and trust for it to be transformed into a, a wonderful place for people in the Sixth Ward to live. The Sixth Ward was built around the railroad. It was a railroad area. There were a lot of hotels, boarding houses. You know, you had a lot of railroad workers coming in and out of here. Um, and this was a green space for them to be in. Um, and you'll notice that it has a, an old steam locomotive over there. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's an old Northern Pacific um, steam loco and uh, it's a Baldwin model it's, and it's, it was recently rehabbed. It's in pretty good shape.